welcome back to another episode of Story in a Can. If you don't know what Story in a Can is, it's a way of getting past writer's block, mixing up your creativity by using writing prompts such as objects, scenarios, locations and characters. You take them in a post-it note, you make notes and you pull them out and try to string together a story. Rob's not with us today, but we do have a special guest, <laughs> Mr. Max Patterson Hello. of Valley Films. How are you doing, Max? Good, good, good. Um, so cool to be on one, of your, on one of your videos. And I've watched a couple of your story in a cans before, and they're very inspiring and a really cool uh, method of just breaking into a story. Yeah, we think so too. It's definitely a way of, of getting past the, the creative funk and Maybe thinking of something that you wouldn't think of naturally. Usually sure. I would come up with gun films, but right. uh, some of the stories that we've come up with right, uh, right. through Story in a Can sort of force you to be a little bit more original. Have you done Story in a Can before or I, any sort of writing prompt exercise? I have not. Um, I mean, I've had a couple writing exercises before, but nothing quite to this extent. So this is, this is a new process to me. All right, well, why don't you pick the first one? Perfect. Okay, um, I shall... Um, sorry, I am absolutely mashing the story in a can thing and I'm pulling it out of a cup tonight, so. <laughs> Alright, okay. <laughs> um, this is, already puts a time period on it. Medieval poet. Medieval poet is our character. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that's incredibly restricting. Right, uh, so we've got a character. I'll pick an object. Okay. Now I think most of the objects that we've got in here are modern day contemporary mm -hmm. sort of objects so this right. should put so a we, spanner in the Have words. we got room for interpretation perhaps? Yeah we can we can take it any way we like. Right. Um, <laughs> okay we've got an object of a hair comb. A hair comb? Oh very cool. That's nice. Yeah. That's fitting. Yeah. <laughs> Something we've, we've never had before as well. That can still go medieval. Um, what's next? Do, do you want to pick a location? Location. Sure sure. Um, where are we? Okay. We have, oh dear, oh no, um, apocalyptic ghost mall. <laughs> okay, apocalyptic. We could just, we could turn that into a hall. A hall is like an old fashioned mall, pretty much. Yeah, I think so we there's could... our location. I'll get a scenario out. Okay. Our scenario is a dance contest. A dance contest. Well, I think this is cool actually because straight off the bat we have uh, a really nice environment. So we have obviously, well, we'd, we can interpret mall to hall, right? And then we've got a hall and dancing is, I, I, I don't know about you, but I feel like the first reaction is to put it in a medieval time since we've got a medieval poet. Um, a hall and dancing works perfect for that. Um, and then the, uh, what else was there? So we've got, uh, a poet, a hall, a comb, dance oh, and a comb. That's right. Um, so that makes sense. And a yeah. dance contest, you want to look nice. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. they would probably have a comb with them. What if the there is like a golden golden comb? So it's like a dress up dance con contest, <laughs> medieval dress up co dance contest. <laughs> okay, yeah. And it's like a golden comb is like the cup. So it's like the it's like the trophy, <laughs> the trophy. Um, yeah. And then the poet uh, gives. Maybe the poet comes in, so they have the competition. No, they they come in, and the poet presents a a, a ballot, and um, and they have to oh shoot, they have to dance to the theme All of right, his poem. All right, I, I or can jump off there. So you've got the you got the dance contest. Yeah, yeah. And because it's an apocalyptic ghost hall, <laughs> the they're all ghosts. Okay, and they're all okay, like that's monsters cool. yeah. and ghoulies and goblins. Yeah, all dancing with each other. And the medieval poet is the only one that's actually alive. Oh, and the right. poet, they call him the poet, but it's in quotes. Oh, and he's okay. actually this like evil man who keeps people in limbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. the golden comb is something that only a couple of people win every year. Right. And you have to have the best dance. Yeah. And then if you brush your hair with the golden comb, you you decide whether you want to be alive. You can be or immortal. Yeah. Rest. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. It's very should we good. try? Um, should we try pulling the genre tin out? Do you have a right. genre tin with I, you? I do. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, the, what's the genre at the minute? And it's it's it feels like almost like an episode of Goosebumps or something. It's like it's like a period film, but it's it's like a ghostly. <laughs> it's very unusual. <laughs> um, it's like a. Yeah. 
I don't you know. You know what? It could be an episode of Black Mirror. It, pro- it probably would be, yeah. All right, we have... Oh, my goodness. Oh, teen drama. A teen drama. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this is... I think this has turned into teen da- dance competition. So the dance contest is very much like that yeah. scene in Greece now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teen drama. I'm just trying to think if they, they wouldn't really... They, I think we have to change eras. I think this is going to be like a modern... Or maybe like a disco or something like that. Okay, so the theme is medieval, but it's... No, the... Maybe it's like they've went for like medieval in the 1980s or something. Well, it's just the character that's medieval uh, to for one of our things. Oh, okay, The medieval yeah. poet. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the medieval poet is a, a teacher. Mm, and mm. they call him the medieval poet because he's like the, the English. Yeah. And... A literature teacher at this high school. Yeah, maybe it's just a nickname. Maybe back in the day that was his DJ name. <laughs> yeah. It's like a disco competition uh, for yeah. the golden comb and the medi. So, so what does the medieval poet have to do with it? What does he... Maybe the spanner in the works in this story is that they don't realise it's a, an apocalyptic ghost hall. Right. <laughs> uh, they, just, they just thought it was the old high school right. hall. Uh, like gym hall. And... Uh, that's when the apocalyptic ghosts come and Shivers, yeah. comb the hair. Ooh, this one's uh, <laughs> this spicy. I'm not a big fan of teen drama, so this one's a bit difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's it's got a lot of things to juggle. There's got to be a guy and a girl who love each other but right. hate each other at the same time. Right. Uh, they're probably going to be the best dancers there. Yes. And yes. for some reason, they just they keep getting into a spat with each other. Uh, you've got the old dude... Who keeps calling them slackers, kind of like Mr. Strickland from uh, Back to the Future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. comb. Now, the comb is, is very different, but mm. it could be quite significant if yeah. we make it something slightly different, like like you did with the other one there with a the golden comb. Right, right. Maybe he... Uh, so, so they're like the best dancers, but uh, they were running late, or their dress-up was running late, and he couldn't find his comb. Okay. And he couldn't do his hair properly. Right. Uh, and so it looks really messy. And so there's this big conflict because she doesn't want to dance with him because he's not looking quite the part because he's left his comb behind. He's got his messy hair. Yes. She doesn't want to dance with him because he's got messy hair. Yeah. yeah and yeah. that was his power. And he realizes life's not all about having nice hair. <laughs> no, maybe he realizes he doesn't want to be with her because all she cares about is his looks. And it's... And, yep, yep. And he's he actually finally a, realizes that yeah. he's not shallow. Do we have to see the prop, or can the prop be a story plot? <laughs> it could be either. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. What about names for the, these two films? Uh, so it still has the ghost one. Could be a play on play on words. So yeah. it could be like a could just call it like locks, or locks. something. Okay. Because yeah, they're like cool. they're locked in time because they're in purgatory, but the locks also refer to the hair that they're gonna call. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so the disco one could be title. like, or maybe bad hair day. Or so, no, that doesn't quite say that. Uh, bad hair day. It, it has a <laughs> it has a teen vibe about saying that. No, I'm just trying to think of some sort of play on words with that. It's customary for these teen dramas to have the high school as the name of the. That's very if true. If it was more of like a series than a film. Right, right, right. So it could be like Ghost Hall High. Ghost Hall High. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I think we've got two pretty solid ideas. <laughs> uh, very extreme. It fit, you know, the, cool. we need to cut the corners off and smooth yeah. it out and yeah. uh, maybe change some stuff about. But, Max, would you ever have come up with two story ideas like that without any random prompt? Not in a million years. No, that's incredibly <laughs> original. Thanks for watching another episode of Story in a Can. If you guys came up with any ideas for the post it notes that you came up with, uh, so we got a comb, we've got a medieval poet, an apocalyptic ghost hall. And a dance contest. And then we mm. spun it on its head and turned it into a teen drama. So get your comments down below. We would love to know what you think. Also, thank you, Max, for joining us on <laughs> the film look, uh, especially on Story in a Can. We love doing this. We feel like storytelling is the, is the best thing. And you're one of our favorite channels here on YouTube. And it's great to see your channel grow. That is so cool. Um, yeah, well, my pleasure. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, it's totally something completely different to what I've done before. I've never done an exercise quite like this, but um, I may be doing it in the future because, uh, you know, it's a really good exercise. Um, super cool. So thanks again, um, uh, Rich. Uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. And you, of course, your channel is in- insane. I watch all of your videos. Awesome, thank you very much. If you guys haven't subscribed to their channel, you really should. <laughs> 
I don't know what they're doing here if they haven't subscribed yet, because it's only the subscribers who watch Story in a Car. Yeah, it's not something you'd search up for. <laughs> All right. Well, let's leave it there. So, uh, roll the outro.